I'm sitting here with Özkan Özdemir. He started his hunger strike on 1st of April and we are here today to ask him why. Hello Özkan. Hello. Um, why did you go on hunger strike? Okay. Um, at first I would like to thank you for this uh, interview. Um, in the face of uh, the silence shown uh, for our great resistance by the uh, European common media and also German media, of course. Uh, I think your efforts, uh, the such efforts, are uh, really important uh, to uh, let people know about our uh, resistance. Uh, I started my uh, uh, hunger strike uh, because of the uh, isolation uh, on the uh, Abdullah Öcalan, the uh, Kurdish leader uh, in uh, Turkey. Uh, as you know, uh, one of the uh, People's Democratic Party uh, member of parliament uh, MPs, uh, Leyla Güven, uh, she began uh, her hunger strike uh, in uh, November of last year and uh, today uh, is the, uh, it has been uh, more than 150 days of her hunger strike. Uh, the uh, hunger strike started against the isolation, of, uh, isolation uh, policy of uh, Turkish state. Uh, although it it is uh, for the uh, Mr. Öcalan's isolation uh, the main uh, target, uh, but uh, I believe uh, because of his isolation, uh, since his isolation, the uh, the normal life of every people uh, in Turkey and Kurdistan has uh, has been turned into a uh, into a um, isolation. Uh, so, so therefore, uh, I started uh, this uh, hunger strike in order to protest uh, at first the isolation of Mr. Öcalan, of course, but also the other isolation attacks against whole society, uh, whole people uh, in Turkey and Kurdistan, all stratas of society uh, in Turkey and Kurdistan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm feeling good uh, since I started 1st of April. Um, uh, I think uh, the, the proud of it, the honor of it, uh, is uh, eliminating all the uh, all other uh, forms of uh, obstacles like uh, feeling hunger uh, or others. So, uh, being part of this great resistance uh, gives me a, a proud and honor. Uh, I'm really good at the moment. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, right now, thousands of people are uh, on hunger strike, and the main part uh, are in prison um, and um, doing this uh, hunger strike as a way of resistance. You are right now here in freedom in Cologne. So. Why do you join hunger strike? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. Uh, I think so many people asking this question uh, when there are other forms of things to be done uh, while you are on uh, outside. Why are you uh, putting your uh, body to hunger? Uh, I think um, the hunger strikes has been uh, a way of. Uh, struggle, way of protest, uh, demanding um, rights and justice uh, since the beginning of 20th centuries. Uh, you write usually the people in prison, uh, they have used this form of struggle against injustices uh, because they didn't have anything to do except uh, resisting with their own uh, bodies to all forms of attacks on their rights, uh, human rights uh, as well. Uh, but uh, the reason I started or the reason people have started this hunger strike is uh, mainly because of the, 
the um, the uh, escalation of the attacks, escalation of the attacks, uh, and secondly, uh, secondly, the uh, the struggle, uh, the resistance against such escalated attacks uh, cannot be only put uh, on on the shoulders of prisoners. Uh, these are the main two uh, reasons why uh, the people outside started. Uh, for myself, uh, the, uh, the, out, the hunger strike which started uh, about three or four months ago uh, has been uh, spread around the world. And now there are people in Hevler, there are people in Strasbourg, there are people in Berlin. There are people in London doing this uh, hunger strike, uh, and I believe the uh, because of the silence uh, of the Turkish authorities and also uh, the silence of the European uh, man managing bodies, uh, making people uh, to uh, to escalate uh, to escalate to. Uh, to make bigger the, uh, their resistance. Uh, so uh, I believe at this moment joining in an indefinite period uh, of hunger strike was really crucial to show those people, uh, those authorities who are still silent on people's demands against isolation, that we are determined. We are determined to get uh, the results uh, we are determined to uh, to break this uh, isolation. Mm -hmm. That's why I joined <coughs> this. Uh, you just said that um, you you are now on indefinite hunger mm -hmm. strike. Um, that is, of course, like uh, something different also than other hunger strikes who went on strike for solidarity, but a certain amount of time. So now you're on indefinite hunger strike. What does that mean to you? What um, what kind of uh, feelings do you connect with it? And also, what is the political expression of it? Yeah, uh, the uh, indefinite hunger strike means uh, that um, you will continue uh, the uh, the hunger strike until your demands uh, are met. Uh, but uh, as you know, in Turkey, there are uh, also way of struggle uh, put forward by the prisoners, uh, political prisoners in certain uh, times in the past, uh, was put it as death fast, uh, called as death fast. Uh, so death fast means that you will uh, uh, not end your uh, action until uh, you get the uh, demand that you ask for in the beginning. But uh, in this uh, uh, indefinite period of remaining, uh, uh, you are uh, um, you will go until your demands met. But these demands uh, can only uh, can also be uh, not exactly your demands, but the authorities could uh, make steps in order to uh, better, uh, for the betterment of the uh, situation or, or the demand that you are asking for. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, of course, it will continue uh, until the end, uh, until it results with achievement, any uh, kind of achievement uh, of your demands. Even if it can make uh, great harm to yourself and your body too? Even, even it could uh, make harm to your body. Uh, it's, uh, it's obvious that uh, from the past uh, dead fast or indefinite period uh, hunger strikes, we have seen lots of people uh, have lost their, uh, many people lost their lives, uh, but uh, also uh, more than that number, uh, hundreds of people left uh, handicapped uh, cannot walk or cannot uh, think uh, properly uh, like before, uh, so it is harming the body. Mm. Um, you just talked about the demands uh, that shall be met because of your hunger strike. Maybe you can point out what are the most important demands right now that shall be accomplished. Accomplished. Uh, 
the um, okay um, the the months we uh, I also uh, do my uh, hunger strike is for is similar to what uh, mostly similar to what Leila given demands. Uh, in a way, uh, the, uh, my uh, sport is uh, for Leila Guren. Um, and that's the uh, lifting of isolation, uh, total isolation uh, on uh, Mr. Ojalan, um, that he uh, that he could uh, see his uh, solic solicitors, and that uh, he could uh, see his family uh, family members. Uh, in a way, he should have some kind of contact, uh, and uh, and this. Uh, total uh, isolation but also uh, the uh, this isolation is not only uh, on the uh, Mr. Ojalan but all other uh, political prisoners uh, are being kept under uh, very uh, heavy uh, and strong uh, isolation so uh, the, our demands uh, my demands includes that as well that's why there are people, there are uh, socialist and uh, communist uh, uh, political prisoners uh, at the moment, which have uh, started on the 1st of March. Uh, uh, they added uh, into these demands, uh, as part of uh, their demands, is the lifting of isolation in all uh, prisons uh, in Turkey. Uh, of course, because I'm doing in Germany at the moment, and uh, I will continue later in Paris, uh, uh, my demands, uh, or like the people in uh, Strasbourg, uh, is also uh, that uh, the European bodies, European Parliament, uh, especially the CPT, which is uh, an organization uh, working within the boundaries uh, or we, within the um, laws uh, of uh, European Union uh, is the, uh, the responsible uh, organization of keeping, observing, uh, in all, uh, observing that in all uh, countries which signed CPT uh, rules uh, to, uh, to follow uh, the process, the human rights process uh, in, in the prisons. So uh, until now CPT has not uh, even the European Union uh, did not take its um, did not take its uh, uh, responsibility, did not uh, didn't do anything to uh, make a pressure on uh, Turkish government to uh, comply uh, with with the international human rights uh, laws and also uh, with the CPT uh, laws, which uh, Turkish state, uh, Turkish government is the signatory uh, mm -hmm. signatory of it. Of course, to that uh, my other demand is to uh, to European governments, European states like German state, uh, France uh, and Britain. Uh, to to end their uh, to end their uh, double face uh, double uh, the, yeah, the, the double face uh, uh, attitude uh, and act uh, on the Turkish uh, state's uh, atrocities uh, and uh, human rights uh, violations. Uh, they have uh, lots of economical. Uh, military, uh, political uh, uh, relations, uh, and uh, I believe Turkish state gets uh, some kind of uh, uh, some kind of strength from these uh, uh, the silence of these governments to uh, to pressure or to to make uh, to increase its attacks on the people. Uh, Kurdish people, Turkish people, workers, oppressed people uh, in Turkey. So my other demand is to uh, for these uh, European countries to end their all kind of relations uh, with the Turkish uh, state. Mm. Uh, what do you think, um, as a final question, can people who want to support the hunger strike and to want to support the uh, demands, um, what can they do? Uh, 
I think there are lots of things to do by the people uh, and because uh, I believe the attitude of people on the street will determine the faith of our, our resistance. Um, uh, as we can see, uh, the resistance has reached uh, uh, over 150 days and the authorities, the, 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 uh, the uh, reactionary states uh, doesn't act. Uh, in, in the face of our demands. Uh, it's just uh, the resisting people, the people are on hunger strike, Leila Güven, uh, the people in Strasbourg, uh, should not be uh, left alone. Uh, their, their demands are just demands. Their demands are, uh, are uh, what uh, ordinary people uh, on the street can, uh, can and should support. Uh, that and the uh, unless the people on the street the, the people uh, sitting in their houses the people working in factories uh, show their uh, show their support uh, somehow joining in uh, demonstrations uh, on the streets uh, writing to their MPs uh, or uh, making pressure on their own governments uh, in order to support the resistance and to uh, make them uh, to show, uh, get into action uh, to do something. So uh, I ask uh, from the people to support this uh, resistance because it's a just uh, struggle. Uh, I believe uh, the, the reason uh, for people to support uh, our resistance completely, uh, completely connected with their own lives as well, uh, because um, we see uh, the the reaction of uh, German government uh, for last decade uh, has been uh, has been really um, lim cause uh, limitation of uh, of. Uh, uh, freedoms uh, in these countries. Uh, the, although, uh, the, the, when we say that Turkey needs to be closer to the European uh, states um, uh, policies, uh, the, the other uh, way happens, uh, the, the, the other option happens, the European uh, countries, the European states, are uh, closing uh, their distance with the, uh, in terms of policies that they are using in their own countries. Mm. Uh, they are becoming similar with the uh, Turkish government. Uh, we see uh, lots of bans on political freedoms uh, in Germany, uh, especially on Kurdish uh, people's uh, uh, organizations, institutions, uh, they are being closed up, uh, they are being banned, uh, but uh, it also reflects to the uh, ordinary German worker who wants to, uh, who wants to strike for, its, uh, for their own rights or for the, uh, for the young people who wants to get a fair education, who wants to get a free education or the we see thousands of uh, uh, school uh, pupil uh, demonstrating against the climate change, but, but uh, we have seen what uh, what is happening in Hombach, for, Hombach Forest. Uh, the people are being attacked. The people are being uh, taken into the uh, custody. Uh, so uh, I think uh, uh, the people's support in Germany uh, to our resistance will also uh, mean uh, that uh, it is a support for their own uh, life and for their own uh, freedoms. Okay, thank you for thank the you. interview.